nowadays, media plays an important role to all of us as it trying to improve public awareness and collecting all information and views towards an issue. So, most of the information we get in our daily lives is all rely on media. So, can we say that all the information in our life, half of it are all based on media, so what media shows is what we know. Well, Bong Kutro is the Senator Key since decades ago. Why the US government is working hard to enforce gun law in order to avoid the misuse of fire and public? It's very essential for the media to keep track on gun control and update the Americans about it. It keeps people feel safe about their current situations and alert the citizens about the latest gun restrictions. But for us, we do not believe that media is doing their job well in alert the citizens about gun control. First of all, I would like to show you guys a video from CNN.com on current gun control status and how the authorities in the United States of America react towards these sensitive questions. I've been reporting since late last week that gun politics are dicey politics for Democrats and that was oh so evident in the halls of Congress today. President Obama breaking his post movie massacre silence about gun control. We should check someone's criminal record before they can check out a gun cell. That a mentally unbalanced individual should not be able to get his hands on a gun so easily. These steps shouldn't be controversial, they should be common sense. Shouldn't be controversial? Common sense? The president's fellow Democrats see gun control as political dynamite. Still, Obama is the party's leader. So do his Democratic colleagues agree? I don't know how anyone could disagree with what the president said yesterday. Harry Reid agrees, but wait a minute, he can actually do something about it. Reid controls the Senate agenda. So CNN's Ted Barrett asked the next logical question. Will Senate Democrats act? With the schedule we have, we're not going to get into debate on gun control. But I'm very happy. I'm glad the president made this statement because it's something that needs to be done. But we're not going to address gun control. Okay, no time this year. What about next year? If you win the majority again next year, would, you, would, would, would that be a good time to do it? Can Democrats say that that's Nice try. So, how do you guys feel about this video? For me, I feel the media are trying to hide some things away from us. They are not giving any solutions to this incident but excusing everyone for everything. Moreover, they are trying to make the gun control, or specifically weapon, uh, mass shooting, as a political issue rather than a social crimes. Where the parties in the United States of America are throwing the responsibility around rather than solving it. They are trying to build up their own repetitions or defense their own repetition. I would like to continue with more with a few photos I get from CNN.com and let's have a look. All this photo I've just shown I have close relationship to our topic of the day weapon control. These are mostly these are mostly the photos of the criminals and the crisis of mass murders with firearms. Where they look much of less like us, they look exactly like us. It would be hard for us to differentiate them out of the public. And if they claim for a gun, we couldn't stop them. We will never know when they are going to have involved in this in what in mass shooting. But what we do know is that gun control is one of the most efficient ways to stop them from doing so. All these photos are really appears in media. What we what we know from the media is that we only know the names. Which what the most famous one we ever know is James Homer's, which is the criminal of mass shooting in the movie 30 in Colorado. By analyzing all these statistics, we got to know that although the numbers of mass shootings occurring in the United States of America is getting lower, but the number of fatalities and total victims are getting higher and higher. 
which means that there are more deaths although there are less mass shootings occurred. Why are media not showing us this crucial and yet deadly information? Are they planning to, ch to only show us the good sides of everything but not the evil sides of all? Are they saying that are they, try, are they saying that homeland of Americans is a safe place to say when it is not? Deadly and sad mass shootings is good compound. And what makes us a normal precedence to define whether isn't that individual a good guy or a bad guy? How are the authorities going to differentiate a good and a bad? How to define a good guy and a bad guy? And all these are remains unknown. After posting all these biased informations in media, there are a lot of memes coming out are making fun of all these quotes, criticizing all these quotes, or even protecting all these quotes. Where I personally believe that memes is one of the best tools to portray how public feels about a thing. We have a list of memes which are criticizing or supporting firearm control. This creates a chance for us to have information from all sides of the world, whether supporting, against, or even stays between the line or in gun control. So everyone, I'll be talking on social crimes on this weapon control thing. So okay, first thing first, we see a quote from Alice John, which is very well known on the media. And he once said that more guns means less crime. So on the media, he has really agreed with what he says, and I should say that I do agree than disagree with the media, as it does make sense, don't you think? Because I find that most probably a lot of people having one is just for the self-defense instead of having for the sake of not. So my statement is now strongly proven by a video from YouTube Pub Armed Citizen Public Defense from the Injustice Report in YouTube. change things around. There is an article has proven in the media that nowadays kids are too easy to access for guns. So in this article I have realized something which there is a five years old boy has shot his two years old sister and there is another case 
where a seven years old boy shot himself down by using his father's gun. So in this statistic in the graph, we have seen that the number of people buying guns from every year and it seems growing continuously. Okay, and we can see the next one would be the amount of gun deaths that be causes by people are having guns and this may lead to another worse environment like last time. Why medias aren't showing us all this truth? Why are they covering all this dirty truth? Are they trying to protect America as a safety place to stay or are they trying to play with the subscribers with their safety? So, we can see now there is a cool picture from Vanley Lenny. What does it say? He once said that a man with a gun can control a hundred things without even one. Does it even make sense? Yes. As yes, everybody has rights to hold one, but things may get worse as our control. As we found a website from the media, as this website shows the effect of social crime and the feedback from all the people who are watching this website. And majors are right now are just not showing their true color by just covering all this dirty truth. And this proves that media are hiding all this dirty truth and they're just protecting their image and try not to reveal so much of this secret. All people who are against gun control and people who think that they need guns to protect their life, I'd like to ask you something. Do you really need can to defend yourself? Uh, can you defend yourself without guns? Uh, my answer is yes. Uh, look at this article. Uh, you will see in this article that a 63 year old man fired the robot with bare handed. So this shows that you don't really need a can to protect yourself. In fact, a can causes more death rather than it protects death. So uh, why, are, why would we against can control if we don't really need cans in our life? Check out this video. These images show the seconds before a nine-year girl accidentally shot her gun instructor dead on Monday. Recorded at the Bullets and Burgers shooting range in White Hills, Arizona. The edited 22-second clip plays up to the point where the girl loses control of an Uzi, striking 39-year-old Charles Vacker. The shocking recording taken by the girl's parents and released by police shows Vacker standing closely next to the girl when the gun recoiled as she fired on full automatic mode. As the clip unfolds, Vacker is seen to instruct the girl to hold the weapon with two hands at all times and to take a perpendicular stance to the target. Then Vacker asks her to fire one shot for him, which she does. Then, Vacker tells the girl to adjust her stance and squeeze the trigger to let off a volley, but something goes wrong when she fires a second time. His last words to the girl are, All right, full auto. The girl loses her two-handed grip on the weapon and it pulls to her left, striking Vacker in the head. Charles Vacker, a father and veteran from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, was airlifted to hospital on Monday morning after the little girl shot him but died that evening. Uh, this is a video about firing instructor who died after getting shot by a nine-year-old kid with an OC. So, uh, you will see from this video that even an innocent person can kill people uh, accidentally if equated with a gun. In this particular case, the firing range the youngest age was eight for um, handling these type of uh, semi-automatic and fully automatic weapons. Um, the little girl in this incident was nine. And again, it seems to be rather set arbitrarily. There's no real good reason why. Um, and in terms of Arizona, if you want to ride a roller coaster or go use a trampoline park, there are more regulations and safety inspections than that at these private firearm ranges. Therefore, I think it's better if we have robot and controller. Look at this article. 
Obama request one point one billion for gun control. Uh, I think it's a great step for the uh, controlling gun programs in the future. But some people will say that uh, this is a waste of money. But it's not true. There are a lot of gun control laws in the US and some surely reduce gun program and crime rate. So, uh, really hand gun violence prevention every one of those. It surely has uh, reducing suicide rate. So, as I showed back, the US government is trying to make uh, new laws for gun control again. Um, I believe it will prevent the necessary death caused by gas in the future. Now you know why we do not agree that media is doing their job well in portraying gun control. There are still a lot of inside truth behind social crimes and mass shooting in public that is remain unknown. As furthermore, nowadays society are requiring a lot of information from the media from preventing them to be the next victim of social crimes and mass shooting of firearms in the public. So it's crucial for media to alert the public about their rights in having an account and their responsibilities in having an account as it can be very dangerous in our life. Thank you.